Hi dudes, Climax 4 explain here. Today I will explain 2007 American science fiction horror film called, The Invasion. Before we start, subscribe now because spoilers ahead. The movie starts up with a scene of a space shuttle hitting on the Earth's surface. It leaves a trail of debris across the United States. Even though the government warns the people to stay away from the debris as they suspect that it could be infected, some people have touched it. Later on, the CDC director, Tucker appears at the scene of a huge debris pile, where the government has enclosed it as a contamination zone. Here, Tucker learns that a fungus-like alien life form has clung onto the space shuttle and arrived the Earth. When Tucker leaves the scene, he touches a piece of debris and accidentally contaminates himself. When he arrives home, his dog comes to greet him but abruptly growls and goes away. He doesn't think much about it and goes to bed. While sleeping, Tucker is trembling and his whole body is strangely altered. Now, we are introduced to Carol, Tucker's ex-wife and also a psychiatrist, who is living with her son, Oliver. Carol gets a call from Tucker, who demands to see his son. However, Carol refuses and hangs up. Later on, Carol sees her friend, Ben, before going to work. She tells Ben about Tucker's call and discloses that he has never been a good dad. As Carol arrives at the office, one of her patients, Wendy, is waiting for her. Wendy, who has an unstable relationship with her husband, reveals to Carol that her husband has changed. He even killed their dog and dumped it in the garbage. Carol is surprised and later gives Wendy a new prescription. On Halloween evening, Carol and her friend take their kids outside in the neighborhood. As the kids arrive a house, the dog inside starts to bark continual at the son of Carol's friend, Andy. When it follows and attacks him, the boy doesn't seem scared at all. Surprisingly, he gradually grabs the dog's mouth and purposely squeezes it. After bringing the boy home, Carol senses something wrong with Andy as he seems disconnected from the others. She also finds out a strange kind of skin sticking on Oliver's hand and carefully puts it into a bag. The next morning, Carol hands Ben and Stephen, a scientist, the skin sample she obtained and asks them to investigate it. Later on, we can see the TV is broadcasting news about a strain of harmful flu. The scene now shifts to a meeting room, where Tucker is holding a press conference, stimulating the vaccine to contain the flu. Now, we can see some servers with blank faces start spurting their saliva to the beverage, which will be served for many other people at the conference. In the evening, while Carol and Oliver are going to Tucker's place, they encounter a woman who stops her car and begs for help. When she continual talks about the threat among people and is about to run away, she gets hit by a van. Frightened, Carol moves toward the woman but a cop tells her to leave. Carol and Oliver ultimately go to Tucker's house, where he appears and welcomes them with an inexpressive look. He asks for Carol to come inside but she has to leave for a party. Soon, later on, we can see Carol and Ben attend a friendly party, which is held by Henry, a Czech diplomat along with his wife, Letty. Meanwhile, Oliver chills with his friend, Jean, and reveals that something is wrong with his father. As Oliver enters the house, Tucker offers him a hot chocolate that contains his saliva. At the party, Carol is sitting following to Yorish, the Russian ambassador. In DC, later on, they start debating the violent nature of humans. While Yorish claims that humans cause violence and war around the world, Carol's replies that even though we still conserve some animal instincts, human awareness is changing completely. The following day, Carol receives a video message from Oliver telling that he is at school. On the way to work, she recognizes more people with blank expressions and behaves strangely. At the workplace, after learning that Wendy Lank hasn't come in a few days, Carol gives a call to Wendy but her husband, Richard, picks up the phone and tells her that Wendy is sleeping. After experiencing a strange chain of events, Carol starts looking for similar events on the internet. Strangely, many others also admit that the people around them have changed. She then accepts a call from Ben. The scene now shifts to the hospital lab, where Stephen starts to break down the sample Carol brought to him the other day. He discovered that the sample includes some highly resilient spores, which take over a human's body when they enter REM sleep. It incorporates the victim's DNA and reprograms genetic expression. Unexpectedly, Ben receives a call from Luddy worrying about Yorish. Ben, Stephen, and Carol promptly rush to Luddy's house. Here, they find Yorish lying on bed and is completely covered in a horrible appearance. As Carol starts to take a photo, 
Yorish wakes up and assaults her. Ben pulls Yorish out, and he crawls out of the room until he dies because of the REM sleep interruption. Sensing something bad will happen to Oliver, Carol instantly rushes to Tucker's place. As Oliver is nowhere to be found, Carol storms out to look for him. Tucker and his colleague corner her in the kitchen and ask her to join them. It turns out that Tucker is some of the first ones contaminated. He uses the CDC to spread the spore, disguising it as a flu vaccine. Carol is stunned after learning the truth. As he resists, Tucker holds her down and spurts his saliva on her, endeavoring to infect her. Moments later, Carol runs to the street calling for help but no one replies. Then, she enters the subway while accepting a message from Oliver. It turns out that he was brought by his father to an unknown place. Soon, Carol starts to worry because she can't end a message to Oliver back. Just then, a strange man on the train tells her to calm down and show no emotion to fool the infected. In a while, a group of infected people walks in as a woman in the cabin stands up and fights back. The non-infected like Carol start to run to another cabin and try to stop them. Ultimately, Carol manages to escape from the train. After making it to the ground, Carol attempts to keep calm and shows a blank face to fool the infected. Later, Carol joins Ben and Stephen at Letty's place. Here, they learn that the spore transmits circulate through blood or other body fluids. As there is no way to know if one is infected, they have to stay awake. They plan to go to Fort Detrick which is now locked down and infection-free. But first, they have to find Oliver. A group of infected start to swoop in. Ben, Carol, and Stephen manage to run out. On the street, Carol sees her patient, Wendy, being imprisoned by the police as she has already snoozed but is not yet contaminated. At this point, as Ben and Carol go to the city to look for Oliver, Stephen splits from them and heads to Fort Detrick. Carol and Ben figure out that Wendy could be immune to the spore and determine to look for her medical record. At Carol's office, they discover that Wendy has a brain-affecting illness, called ADEM. It staves off the spore from taking over the brain matter and helps them become immune to the spore. Carol deliberately recalls that Oliver is immune to the spore as well because of the ADEM he had as a young child. Then, Ben calls Stephen informing him about the significant discovery while Stephen is currently attempting to find a cure for the virus. With other scientists at Fort Detrick. In the meantime, Carol gets a message from Oliver says that he is currently in Tucker's mother's house in Baltimore. Carol reveals to Ben that she is already infected for some intention. Ben appeases Carol and tells her to stay awake. Later on, Ben drops Carol in a small alley letting her go away. Ultimately, by keeping a blank expression, Carol manages to get to the train station. As the train starts to go, she struggles to stay awake. To her surprise, Jean unexpectedly shows up. He reveals that his parents couldn't survive so now he lives with Tucker. She successfully makes Jean believe that she is converted and is one of them now. The following day, Jean walks along with Carol toward Tucker, who has been waiting for them at the station. At Tucker's place, while Carol is having meals with the family, Carol unexpectedly receives a call from Ben. She calmly picks up the phone and lets him know her location while deceiving that she is talking to a patient. She eventually finds Oliver and reunites with him. However, Jean shows up and catches them. Carol promptly pushes Jean is unconscious and runs away with Oliver. Unfortunately, Tucker and his colleagues start chasing after them. To get away, they manage to hide in a basement. However, they accidentally make a sound which draws Tucker's attention. He enters the basement and locks it while asking Carol to join him. When Carol manages to open the door, Tucker unexpectedly appears and chokes her. Oliver hits Tucker from behind but promptly gets grabbed. Carol attacks Tucker, unconscious and flees with her son. Ultimately, Carol and Oliver reach a pharma store and take some pills to keep Carol awake. She calls Ben and tells him her location. In the meantime, Carol also discovers a room where she finds many other infected people reconverting. After walking out of that room, she gets a gun and tells Oliver not to open that door. Hours have passed, yet Ben hasn't home. Despite endeavoring to stay awake, Carol starts falling asleep. Oliver attempts to talk to Carol and wakes her up. Eventually, Ben shows up but the two realize that he is also mutated. Ben opens the locked door letting the infected go out. He then starts to convince Carol to join the new society as the infected are offering a better world with no crime war or chaos. However, it also means that 
There is no place for people like Oliver who are immune. Helpless, Carol shoots at the infected comprising Ben and runs away with Oliver in a car. On the way, she attains a call from Stephen. Unfortunately, Carol crashes on the way and slowly falls asleep. The infected surround the car and try to break in. Oliver wakes Carol up and both proceed the run. He tells Stephen their location while his mom is driving the car. After that, Stephen completes with a helicopter and tells Carol to get to the top of a building nearby, where they will pick up the two of them. Carol and Oliver ultimately reach the building while dozens of the infected are chasing after them. Finally, they make it to the top floor and are rescued by Stephen. Cut to one year later, Stephen states that the alien virus is eliminated in an interview. Carol and Ben move in jointly and live with Oliver and Jean. And that's it. If you is the lover of similar content like this take a look at my distinct videos and if you love it, please break the like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification horn. Catch sight of you in successive video.